and welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley and yes, I'm sitting in my car. Uh, I did bring my microphone, but it's dead. So we're going to get the in-camera audio and hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. But I had somebody request that I show you how I paint in my car. Um, Kylie is not here with me today, so I'm having to film this by myself. So this might be interesting. If you are new around here, I paint in my car a lot, uh, a lot of travel painting. And so I have a backpack that I put all of my paint stuff in and I like to take it with me when I go places. If I have any extra time, if I get somewhere, I'm, I'm always early to places. So if I get somewhere early, I like to just sit in my car and paint. It looks like a storm is rolling in, so I may end up driving home and doing this. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I don't want to be caught out in the storm, but I'm waiting for a store to open. I have 15 minutes before they are open. And so I thought I would sit in my car and paint until they open. I know this sounds really weird and I don't know if it's that common for people to paint in their cars. Um, but I figured I would just real quick show you how I do this. So hopefully this is interesting for you, but let's turn the camera around and I'll show you the backpack and what all I have. And then... I'm not really sure how I'm going to put the camera somewhere where you can see, but I'll figure it out, hopefully. It is getting cloudier and cloudier, but here is my backpack. This is really awkward um, trying to film this, but this is the backpack that I use for my paint stuff. So in here I have my collapsible water cup. And then and oh, this is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I was like, oh, I can just film myself. I need Kylie. <laughs> Anyways, so I I used to just keep my brushes in a brush roll, um, but the brush roll I have doesn't hold my longer brushes, and this keeps them nice and safe, and I can pack pretty much any brush I want in here. Um, so I just put that, it fits in the backpack, so I put that in there. Um, if you've seen me traveling, like painting at the Arboretum or different places, You'll have seen this bag, and I pull stuff out of it all the time. But here's the Syndac by Peg and All. This is the brush roll that I use. Um, I used to just carry this, and then I decided I want, wanted more, and I packed a backpack. But this will hold a 5x7 paper and some paints and some brushes and the water cup as well. So I can just go somewhere with this. Um, but I like having all of my things. <laughs> so this is my newest travel palette, the A Gallo palette. And then I change up whatever paper I've got in here. Um, today I have the, the Saunders Waterford. Is this cold press? It's very fine. Like it's a very, um, smooth texture. But made in England, this is 140 pound and this is cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton paper. Um, I got this for Christmas. I've been wanting to try this because I'd seen other people using it. But it is so incredibly smooth. Um, like it has barely texture to it. But it also doesn't handle water very well. Um, this is warped from painting on the page that go that was on top of it. So. I haven't made up my mind about this, but it's not my favorite and it's so expensive. Okay, sorry about that little mini review there. I really don't know how I'm going to paint and hold this because this is heavy. Okay, so here's my setup. I put my paper here. Let me get my water cup and everything already. I don't usually bring all this stuff out. Alright, so I put my water cup just right there in the cup holder and then... I carry this and with just water in it that I use for my painting. So, so I just keep water in this and I fill it up just about halfway because I don't want water to slosh because this is usually still there when I'm driving. Sometimes I dump it out, but all right. So let's get out the A Gallo palette. This I can also bring um, with just this. Whoa just this in a water cup because this has brushes inside of it. So here is the back side of this palette. If this is still available, I will link it, but I think it's a limited edition thing. But when I saw it, I just had to have it. It was just so pretty and I had not tried a Gallo before. So 
and I was wanting to know about the Tintoretto brushes that came with it. So, okay, I can do this. I can open it with one hand. <laughs> All right, so this is basically my setup. I also, I do have a roll of paper towels in my car too. I know that that's kind of weird also, but I have a child, so they come in handy. But um, I'll either throw paper towels in the backpack or I keep a roll of paper towels in my car. Uh, but yeah, this is literally my setup. Got my brush, my water cup, and my paints. And um, I guess we're gonna paint something. Um, and honestly, I am going to drive home and paint in the driveway because I want to get home before this storm hits. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start, whoops, start painting. I think that's gonna be it for this video. I'm not really sure uh, if there's anything else to show you here, but I would love to know if any of you paint in your car um, or if I'm just weird. <laughs> I find it to be very relaxing, especially if, if it's nice weather and I could just turn the car off and have no sound. Um, just like silence and painting in my car. Something about that is relaxing. Uh, and when I have time to kill, this is what I do. Instead of browsing, gosh, my hair is a mess today. Instead of browsing Facebook or Instagram, I will sit here and paint. Usually it's something simple and... All right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see our future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.